Now, the fifth aspect is brotherhood. As Muslims, we should be having this feeling of brotherhood, of working with as, as together, as having goodwill towards our own brothers. As you like something for yourself, like the similar thing for your brother in faith. This is how the Prophet ﷺ built the capacity of the Muslims of believers. So my dear brothers and sisters, let's make sure that we consider every single person in the Ummah, our brother and sister. As the ayah of the Quran says in Surah Al Imran, Surah number 3, ayah number 103, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us and He says that you were enemies to each other. Remember the blessing of Allah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you brothers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got you together. And the hadith and various hadiths of the Prophet, especially the, the famous hadith where the Prophet said, if the whole ummah is like one body, if one part of the body aches, the entire body feels the pain and the agony. So my dear brothers and sisters, when you hear about a brother being tortured and abused in Burma, when you hear about a Muslim family being abused and tortured in, in, um, in, in China, when you hear about a Muslim brother or sister being tortured in Syria, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Palestine, in Chechnya, in Azerbaijan, in different places in the world, in Yemen, in, in Kashmir, wherever, when your brothers and sisters make dua for them and try to support them, help them through your uh, uh, donations so that they can eat to live and survive. So the minimum that you can do, raise awareness against the torture, the abuse that is happening against them. And send your funds, your donations, in order to feed them and to clothe them. And make sure that you make dua for them. 